I started off selling seeds door to door. Way back, this is back in the 60s, you know, there, uh, it was the American Seed Company. And it was probably the closest thing in the United States to indentured servitude, where basically if you sold 17,000 packs of seeds, you could earn a whistle or a, a stopwatch or something like that. But what it was basically was door-to-door -door salesmanship. And, you know, you walk to the front door and you get it slammed in your face nine times out of ten. And you either uh, go running home to mommy or you go, well, I'm going to figure this out. And fortunately, I was in that latter category. And I'm going, what can I do to try and actually get them to open the door? And then once they've opened the door, what can I do to get the order? And then once I've got the order, what can I do to try and increase the order? And it was this foundation for I'm going to figure this out. And I'm going to figure it out by trying stuff. And I'm going to do things that maybe make me feel a little bit uncomfortable. Uh, and so that's looking back. I mean, at the time, it wasn't like I was thinking, oh, I want to be an entrepreneur and I want to start a big company and this is a great foundation. It just was what I was drawn to. And, and that really never went away. You know, in high school and college, I was always the person who was saying, let's, let's start a club to do that. Let's, why don't we launch a magazine? Why don't, we, um, why, don't we, why don't we have a sale where we sell these things? I just would always see these opportunities and go, someone has to fill that. And then lo and behold, it ended up, you know, being me. Um, and luckily, extremely luckily for me, that skill set ended up being uh, something you could actually make a living with. Uh, I mean, I, I joke often with my wife that, you know, if entrepreneurship hadn't become this fundable, sustainable thing, I really would have been one of those guys who just couldn't seem to hold a job. Thanks for watching. And if you liked what you saw, I'd love you to subscribe. And if you want to be notified of my future releases, well, you know the drill, just hit the bell.